Oh my god. We did it. We did it. We're back. We're back. I'm glad you did Hey, no lie, bro. I'm super happy to be back. And folks, for those who are listening, we are Adventures of the Black Nerds. I am Baron J67. I'm T Jones, man. Welcome. And and real quick, uh Gamer Grind Coffee Company, the number one coffee for gamers. Uh Baron J67 happens to be a partner with them. And I just want to shout out this great coffee company, which you can order your coffee in multiple different flavors. And it's all 100% pure coffee grown from around the world in a very, very holistic way. Pure coffee, no artificial colors, no artificial flavors, no preservatives. This is the coffee for gamers, and you can get it in the link below. Please, number one, coffee for gamers. Much love to Gamer Grind. Gamer Grind. Gamer grind. Yeah, I had to do that. Uh, actually, I didn't have to do that. I really do like the coffee. Um, and I like the idea of something tailored to gamers. Mm-hmm. It was something I always wanted to do. So to see a company successfully do it, of course, I had to jump on board and partner up with them. And it's pretty cool. Um, dope company. Big money. Uh, big money. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, no, real talk, all jokes aside. So as we know, and as everybody knows, I we're dealing with something crazy with the COVID nineteen the the coronavirus. And there was just all, no way we couldn't talk about this. Yeah, like it, it's that's not why we haven't been on, but it's just it's a lot going on right now. And we, I'm not gonna get technical. I'm not gonna get political. I'm not gonna get medical. I don't know what I'm talking about in terms of like the exacts of that. But I do. It's crazy how much it's affecting what's going on. Because now Taylor and what we talk about gaming events. Mm-hmm. collecting blah blase blase we everything from e3 to get gdc to call uh, of duty all world the league yeah all the leagues everything has pax uh no pax east still happened didn't it i think pax east still happened you know what it was like right in the middle of it and yeah. then they decided like yeah um this stuff you know you you get a lot of people who Regardless of what you feel about the exacts of it, it is what it is. And it's canceled a lot of stuff. Um, And a lot of stuff in the gaming community. Like, I know this E3 out of all E3s in the past five years, this was a big one because it's the E3 right before the quote-unquote release of a new generation of consoles. So I wonder how they're going to do this. Is it going to be like a Nintendo Direct type thing? Um are they going to still try to do like a semi live performance, but just from closed space, which honestly I hope they don't because the, that technical dive on that Sony PlayStation five was absolute. That was draining. It was draining. My coworker had to shake me awake at work, bro. I'm going to tell you that more so catered to people who gave a damn about like the specs, the true specs on it. Build. And who build build PCs. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And people who build video games, like like developers. So when I watched it, I I couldn't watch it. I had to just listen to it. Yeah. Even that was... Like I'm Googling as I'm listening to it. That's how draining it was for me. So when I when I actually sat down and really was like, all right, let me just get the spark notes on this thing. It was like, yeah. oh, okay. It just wasn't for me. It, it wasn't. Yes, yeah. I'm excited to hear news about the PlayStation 5, but sure. that wasn't for me. I need something else. So um, let me tell you, I, I'm sorry. I keep no, no, interrupting. go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. What? What would have saved that whole thing for the layman person? Because that wasn't at all for layman people. That mm-hmm. was not like that almost hurt Sony, that whole presentation. No, That's how did, bad it, it was it for the did. general public. It did yeah. to the general public because people who are excited to hear about the PlayStation 5, yes. you know, excited for this whole con- uh, console war were like, oh, yeah, yeah man, they're, they're about to announce the PlayStation 5, blah, blah, blah. But didn't, I don't care about the decibels and the storage yeah, and, I, yeah man you talking gibberish to people like the average joe so he would have did better to just show examples yeah if he would have showed straight example because the example once the examples came in during the presentation i was mm-hmm. like oh i lightened up yeah. like when he did the whole sound system like i, I understood the sound aspect i think but, more more of that stuff is for like director cuts like yeah 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 things like that should have been like all right let's make a 
like a director okay. cut about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, like how deep do you care? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, but, but this is this is my next thing. Was that please tell me that was a fake crowd, right? I thought it was. I mean, <laughs> okay. Hey, but or no, but I thought me, it was me. just like super big wig execs. Like it wasn't. I, I don't think it I was think, more than like twenty people in there. Like, I think it was worse. They than just that. put the shadows at the crowd. bottom. They CGI. I think it was a. Yeah, I think it was a fake crowd, bro. Mm-hmm. And and let me make it like, what bothers me about that scenario? Somebody probably got a bonus for coming up with that whole like presentation. I was like, that looked like a template from. Like PowerPoint, PowerPoint ninety eight, <laughs> but that, that it wasn't even a dope template. Yeah. It was like I don't. This is Sony, man. Yeah, this ain't some like run of the mill company. This is Sony, and you show me that like it was a bland presentation. The man. only thing that was real was the people in the podium. I, I you know, I for me when I was listening to it, I was like, okay, well, the, after it was said and done, I was like, they got to give more. They know they have to give more. They can't just leave me at that. Right. So I'm thinking if they would have, if they would have just showed a design, if they would have just showed the look, if they, if that's all they would have had to do, if they would have just showed a picture of the console, I think that would have well, boosted did it. everything. It would have yeah. been worth it. It was all worth it. But you know, I and then it should just end. He was like, okay, well, thank you for participating. And then he sounded like he was reading to put people to sleep. Like that guy should definitely do an ASMR like YouTube reading. You, you're dumb for oh, that. so now, so now, um, we're gonna see, we're gonna, we're gonna pop about uh, teraflops, Terrible. and with with the teraflops, we're gonna put you to sleep with the 360 audio. Man, and I, I for me, I just did. And no, yeah, yeah, it, it wasn't for us. It wasn't for me. It wasn't. It really wasn't. I and just, they should have really warned people. Like they should have really. They didn't make it clear. Like there, Mr. Matty plays put it on Twitter three hours before it happened. He was like, "I hope people fix their expectations. Mm-hmm. I think this is going to be a big technical thing. Period." Like he he put it up. Shout out to him. Uh, I, and he even after it was done, he tweeted. He was like, "I told you guys. <laughs> like I warned you." To be honest, like, they literally could have just. Took a screenshot of, of like the the all the true specs of the game of the console and just gave me that because the what, yep. what's the first thing people did? They took the true specs for the PlayStation and put them right next to the true specs next on the Xbox, Xbox One, and that was yep. it. That was the conversation. That's all people needed. So even if what? Oh, go ahead. No, so so even if that was all they had to give, they started some type of dialogue. You know, I've seen people with the clickbaits already off, just off that. And I'm like, bro, yeah. I watched the damn thing. Like, there's no way you should be able to post that shit up like that. It wasn't even all about that. Uh, posting up those weird um, Xbox or PlayStation 5 designs, and that's not even the yeah. design. It was yeah. just people took advantage of it. And I, you can't, can't blame them for it. <laughs> no. Well, let me, and let me tell you this. This this is what actually had me intrigued. There was some moments that really caught my eye is they acknowledged that companies had a hard time making games for them. Mm-hmm. Them acknowledging that was a big positive for me because it's like, okay, you see where you guys fell short yeah, and you're doubling down on it. Just like when Xbox bought all those companies, Hey, we screwed you guys over without, um, by not putting any big first, uh, first party, exclusive titles yeah. so okay so we went and bought every major company that you guys liked and now they're all making exclusive titles and shout out um, shout out to drew real quick just to input just to slide this in there when i heard that sony was trying to buy konomi and um oh we need yeah i didn't plan to talk about that yeah uh, bro i was so happy yeah shout out to drew man we gotta man, bring him in we gotta bring him on this uh i seen that i said i'm e- hey that's all you need to hear because you know a remake is coming. You know remakes oh, for all man. of them games is coming. And I wouldn't even be mad at it. I mean, we're in the era of that anyway. I I would definitely play a remade Metal Gear Solid. Man. I wonder if they would go back to the original, to Metal Gear, but they, and just they remake would, it from the beginning. They would have to. I mean, I was just going through my games. I have the the three in one for PlayStation 3. Oh, so got you. got all of them on there. But... I mean, th- this is the opportunity they have to get it back. 
Because remember, it was only on PlayStation at one point. Yeah. So they get it back, and, and now they already know Sony up. makes great single. We already know Sony makes dope uh, online experience, uh, single player experiences. Bro, I had to get into it with my uncle. I said, "Man, you you don't be naive, man. You <laughs> don't do not argue with me about that. You guys have no AAA titles, man, and that's no. what that's no. what scares a lot of true Xbox fans. Yeah, like for me, this next console generation." Is going to be decided on who comes out with titles I actually want to play mm -hmm. because I don't only for the sake of content creating do I really need to be a first day purchase. Yeah. Other than that, if you don't have a first, a brand new title coming out that I'm absolutely excited for, hell, Ghost of Tsushima is coming out on PS4. Yeah. Like, I, there, I'm actually a little nervous because all of these games that are coming out towards the end of the year, like Watch Dogs Legion, that's um, not even got a street date. Yeah. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima is this year. Uh, Cyberpunk, uh, Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk 2077, that's end of this year. Um, it, it's, it's a lot of big games that are going to eat up a lot of time. Man. And um, it's before the release of the new consoles. Do we know if these games are being released on the new consoles? Well, yeah, Cyberpunk announced that if um with the uh CD Project Red announced that when you buy Cyberpunk 2077, you'll get a new uh free copy on the um the, the new, new consoles. consoles. Okay. Yeah. So either like Xbox they they one, yeah, so Xbox which is thank Xbox. God. Cause remember what happened with GTA five when everybody had to buy the same game twice? Yeah. Well, and you no, only got that, to move over your save. That was, um, but that was for at least for that time because I know I got a discount on mine. So well, I paid. Yeah. I paid for the game twice, but one time yes. was like, I think thirty even, bucks. Or yeah, something. some some half the price or whatever. But uh, it was enough for me to to make that transition because all my friends made the transition too. So yeah, and more people just like how you said you're. you're your, this whole console war, war is dependent on what games you like. A lot of people yeah. stick to it because of where they boys and they friends is at. A lot of people's friends, that's why a lot of people don't want to make the transition from switching to Xbox to PlayStation 4 or vice versa. You know, um, I'm, start, I'm starting to find a newfound love for my Xbox because I've been playing with people that I haven't played with in years. I, you, you're on there majority of the time. So I bounce yeah. back and forth. So I just need to create, which I, I have. I just have to get it set up properly. Uh, a simple way for me to just click a button, click a button, switch over to PlayStation and then, or switch back to Xbox one. I said, I was going to play all of this year, season 10 of uh, destiny on there. And that's not happening. That That's just, you, you don't have an HDMI splitter. I do. So I can just click oh. this button and then it switch me over. Yeah, yeah. So I have to do that and then plug in two different things and then I'm good. But it's not happening. I ain't got no friends over here that want to play in. I'll be just lost. Yeah, and I ain't gonna lie. You're the only person on my whole friends list that runs Destiny. Mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty. It, it's it's pretty weird. Like everybody on my list is playing something else, and then you on Destiny, and I'm like, damn. It's probably the first <laughs> season. I'm not gonna collect nothing. Hey, First it's season. you know, you know what, bro? For me, I we already talked about it. And we knew it was gonna happen. I just hit that wall with Destiny where I felt like I was so overwhelmed in a good way. Mm -hmm. It was just too much to do. But then in my head, I'm like, there's other games to play. Yeah, that's that's my whole school of thought with games as a period, like games as a whole. Um, and then a lot of these games are games as a service. So it's not like yeah, you're missing out, but are you? really missing out yeah, like, mm, not really not that like, far it, off like that's, yeah like that's how i look at destiny like i'm missing out on yeah. this gun this thing this activity but as but i'm whole, not that far off you know like, yeah so well but i mean today i ran apex legends right okay so this morning me me and uh mac shout out to mac uh we uh we ran Apex Legends, and we ran it on PlayStation 4. So he jumped on PlayStation 4, and we were playing, and uh, I had a hell of a time. And the reason why is because I only played, like, one match before I played uh. with him. So I played one match on PlayStation, 
right? When it first came out. Then I played one match on Xbox a couple weeks ago with him. And today we ran like eight, ten matches. And uh, two times we got to the, the last two teams and we lost. We haven't won one yet. But um, he was telling me how the competition on PlayStation is way weaker than it is on Xbox. He just doesn't know <laughs> why. So I'm like, fuck it. Let's go get some wins then. And, yeah, you know, we got to win. So my whole thing is every time I jump into a game, I'm prepared for the game. Always super prepared. I'm talking about do my research. I find out what gun I want. This was the first time I jumped into a game and I didn't know what. I'm like, hey, what is this? The the triple break. What what's what's that? Oh, it's a sniper rifle. Oh, okay, cool. So I can put the scope on it. And like it, it was the the feeling of that was pretty dope. So like now, hopefully later on we can run some um Warzone. I'm gonna have that same feeling because I haven't seen I've only watched somebody play it like once. I haven't been watching Twitch or anything. Gotcha. So I want to jump into it and have that feeling like, hey, man, uh, what do I do? Like, <laughs> feeling like a noob is dope. I'm making yeah, noobs it feel cool. It's dope, man. <laughs> no, because it's a fresh experience, mm-hmm. bro. And that's it, it's so real being able to dive into something. And that's actually that fresh experience is something that we we really don't have an abundance of anymore mm-hmm. because of just the, the whole YouTube streaming series. Um, like even like I look at animal crossing, I almost wanted to get it just because I seen how many people are losing their mind over it. Over, yep. And, and then I hear people like, Oh, it's a simulator. Oh, it's like Stardew Valley. Oh, it's like, I was like, well, I like Stardew Valley and I like the Sims. So, I, uh, you know, and I yeah. thought about getting it, but I just got way too many games I need to play. So at this point, I need to take a break on buying games. Like I took a hard stall. I didn't pick up Doom. I didn't pick up. Yeah. yeah like, yeah. I, you know what, man? I think what I, I need to do, and and we've always talked about schedules, but I've been sticking to my home schedule a lot. So, got you. Um, to implement a scheduled day for like gaming. Like I know for a fact destiny is my shit. Like that's my game. Yeah. 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 That's your I know game. I'm going to play yeah. this. So maybe if I say, all right, two days out the week, I'm going to play like a retro game or, or like a game. I would love to go back and enjoy. Oh, right? okay. and then like another day, out the, you see what I'm saying? Another day out the week, you just be like, Hey, let's just pick up a new game and play it and see what it's like. You know how many free games we get on a week on yeah. a monthly basis? basis like you know 10 and we never and, and there's a troll. yeah you see at all so, my catalog is so stupid man. like it's it's off the charts my cattle like i and eat that, for someone who and, doesn't play pc man i have a dumb amount of pc games i easily have more pc games than i do console games and i got a shit ton of console <laughs> games like <laughs> it, it's it's ridiculous like, how does it get um, to this point yeah, and I'm at a point where I feel like I'm in too deep to even like quit. Like, so it's just like keep me going. And and it'd be some dope ass games that I've I've thought about playing too. Mm-hmm. Like I just went through my humble bundle because the way they got it set up now is you get to pick 10 games out of a list. Okay. And then you get access to this thing called the Trove, which has a bunch of games. It's like Game Pass, but for for uh PC. PC. And for those who are interested in Humble Bundle, which offers you 10 free games a month. Uh, the link is below affiliate link. Um, it is there. You guys will benefit us, and it also um, it you get a bunch you, of dope stuff, and you get to donate to charity. Man, with, with all your purchases, you get to pick where you want your money to go to and how much of it. It's it's a real actually cool process. A lot of my PC games I buy from Humble Bundle. Um, because you don't lose actually, anything from getting like, it from them. Yeah, you, you don't lose lot. anything. Yeah, you get yeah, it's it's actually really cool. And then you get to pick a charity that you like. Mm-hmm. And I usually pick like disabled gamers or something like that. Um like it it's it's cool. Good process, good people. You know, I didn't get paid for saying that, but I wish I would have. Um but no, like straight out though, um, I know we kinda we kinda diverted from the whole COVID thing. Yeah. Um, but long story short, um this stuff has affected the gaming world. Like real talk, I think that personally, if Be- if GameStop didn't stay open in time to release and sell Animal Crossing and Doom, I think they would have went out of business. Yeah. I like I I hope their their situation isn't that fickle. I, I really hope it's not. I hope they got a good ground base and they just you know 
more than buying time. Mm -hmm. But I really believe that that would have been the that would have been the straw to break the camel's back. Like, because you got two big releases because trippy thing is, and I'm not no stock expert or I'm not a financial expert at all, but their stocks jumped up like a dollar plus because of um, right after their pickup of uh, the former head of Nintendo America, Reggie, I forget his last name, but they picked him up. And then all of a sudden their stock share, their shares went up like a dollar plus. It's a huge jump, especially for a company that's quote unquote dying. dying. Um, but then right after that jump, all of a sudden the COVID stuff started happening and companies and stuff started closing. And as we see, like we're, we're in California and for the most part, things are locked down. Yeah. I'm just, I, I, it, it's like zombie land. It's kind of weird. Mm-hmm. Um, and like to, to be daytime and like see chairs put up or stores completely closed up that are normally open streets are like, if you go on Google maps, it's green everywhere mm-hmm. all day. It's empty. Yeah. Freeways is just. Open, yeah. You it, know? It, Truck it's, drivers it's, are enjoying it. Yeah. Like I, I had to go to my office to pick up something and I, it was a, I was cruise control all the way to work. Mm-hmm even past construction like it was it was ridiculous but but my point is it's it's had such a heavy effect on the world to the point to where it's even affecting video games and it's it's super strange they haven't talked about any major delays from the consoles i know like the people who made the processor for uh i believe for xbox the amd uh the amd processor they haven't they said that everything's on time but that's one part of the company who knows yeah, uh but you you like, also gotta every everybody's playing it super close like well think about it nobody's in, gave a street date of course of, co- of no, course not now yeah especially perfect, not now the perfect we may time never get one see the perfect time to have done it would have been june but you know yeah. that's probably not gonna happen you yeah know, june what what you got new call of duty gets announced of every uh what, every NBA, june. M- nba finals so end yep. of May, beginning well, of June. Hell, we, no finals now. Yeah, so yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. So now, you, yeah. you know, everything is. Just, oh, I think they just announced that the Olympics uh, are pushing, getting pushed back a year. You got they. they I think they just. Anna- I thought they were just going to cancel it, but mm-hmm. it is wild, man. Like you can't, folks, like this is this that's is why huge. I say, man, that's why I say they're playing it super close. Why everything yeah. is in 15 day increments. The most yep. I've seen was 30 day increments, you know, yep. when, when they, um, cause our, my child's school is locked down. It was first, it was a, it was a two week increment. Then it went from two weeks to a month. month. And then we just got to play it by ear. So everything is by, they're just waiting. They're hoping something like, happens know, to where, yeah. you know, so you it, just it's, gotta, it's, there's nothing yeah, that it, no one can do about that. Yeah, and it's just so crazy because rarely does something this, something like this along these lines affects everything mm-hmm. from sports to Vegas looks like the apocalypse right now, folks. If you're hearing my voice right now, go and who knows? Hopefully by the time you hear this, this is all over with, but it won't be sad but true. Um, go and look at pictures of Vegas during the COVID situation. It is the creepiest thing. It It is just empty. And I somebody posted pictures from last night. The lights were off, like outside of like street lights. Mm-hmm. So it just looked like an empty neighborhood. It's empty, yeah. Like it, creepy, 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 Man. creepy. And this is what people, people are in New York and just people should see that and really take it serious. Cause a lot of people ain't, I've seen people out here making memes, doing weird yeah. stuff. Barbecuing, going to parks, like yeah. going to the beach, like it's Come it's on, wild. Like this is if it's enough to shut down Vegas, Vegas and New York, the city that don't sleep, New York, shut down. Shout out to my boy Stanley. Follow the money, man. Follow the, Follow money. the money. Yeah, airlines is getting ready to go out of business. You like know? it is. My brother got on a flight, and he they said it was twenty four people on a flight. That is not viable. Tickets were ninety dollars. <laughs> that it costs they... more to fuel the plane exactly. than to, than those people paid for the seats. Mm. Like it's and uh, one senator was talking today because I was watching the senators argue over our stimulus checks, mm-hmm. which I would like. Um, yeah, 
uh, they arguing over it. He he said it was him. He was the only person on a 757. That's bananas. One person. He was like, there were two pilots. Thank you. He was like, there was. He was like, that's not a viable business model. Like, there's no way they made any money on that. Like, it's not possible. They lost so much money flying me to where I was going. They probably, they probably ain't made enough to pay the people on the flight. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. And you know, um, it, it's it's just such a trip. But wrapping it back into gaming, it's it's amazing how one thing happens in one place and then leads to it's just the domino effect mm -hmm. and to see the gaming community oh even the fact that people being home xbox's servers were getting their ass handed to them oh, it was ridiculous. yeah i seen that the party chat was dead we we had to go on discord like <laughs> and, and talk to each other through the computer just in order to play warzone because it it was not working yeah, yeah. like there it stood no chance absolute it, it's it's so crazy and eerie just driving around seeing things empty going into like coffee shops and seeing nobody there and the people behind the counter are like well we're gonna be open until we hear otherwise yeah. and and then, then oh gamestop employees only reason they're not working right now is because the internet crapped all over gamestop but i real talk wrapping it back up because you know of course we go off topic yeah, yeah yeah i i really think gamestop was just pushing really hard really hard to get rid of those copies of animal crossing and and uh doom that's the only thing they was holding out for because 20 you 20 dollars you take it to 20 dollars i pay 20 dollars bro bro <laughs> could you imagine if they would have had to cancel everybody's orders because they had to close because you it's i know a lot over. of people who still pre-order through uh through GameStop. gamestop yeah a lot of people. it's over and once you gotta do something like that it's oh over. The game gets a Bro. bad rep. You get oh. the bad man. It's over after that. Yeah, yeah. So, it, ooh, -wee. man, it was like, hey, some we gotta bite this bullet, man. Y'all, like, <laughs> y'all employees can hate us all you want, but sell that Doom and sell that Animal Crossing. <laughs> oh my god, god. Like bite the bullet. And then when, uh, obviously, uh, the governor of California, when he was like, oh yeah, if you're not a part of the Critical infrastructure sector. I know that night everybody was on. I was on there looking like, "Am my job yeah. critical?" Yeah. So, hey, I I was ready to go to work, and I got the message like, "Nah, bro," and I was like, "Cool, I guess." Like, yeah. I I wasn't tripping too much. I guess I, I was I was lady. ready. <laughs> Man, I went by the I went by the office to get my stuff, um, and it was only eight people on staff. I was like. Damn. Yeah, it's like usually fifty people in that building. It's crazy, <laughs> man. And I was like, damn. But it, it it has impacted in a lot of different ways, and and gaming is just one small part of it. But one very small part. When you sit and look at it, when when we're talking about gaming like this, it sounds big, but when you think about everything else that's affected by it, then you're kind of like, damn, that's a lot of. You know, things like we we're just talking this about everything that got canceled. all over history books. Yeah, it, it has this to be. I was just looking in our history books, like our, I'm sorry, not our history, our um, our uh, yearbooks from high school, uh, and yeah. you know, like throughout the books, one of them, I think 2000 and was like six and five, they put like everything that happened that year throughout it, and this is gonna be a page in itself. Well, bro, look yearbook. at how many people can't graduate because of can't it. actually go to their graduations. Hey, I know from like. For my kids, we doing the curriculum at the crib, so I don't want to hear nothing. We saving everything. Y'all can give her the test, but we because I, yeah, yeah. I don't want her to go through that. She shouldn't have yeah, to yeah. go through that because we you give us the the curriculum. Well, they didn't even give us the curriculum, but we go out and get the curriculum that she's learning at your school and she's completing the work. You know what I'm saying? Give her don't the text. Don't yeah. play her, man. Don't, you know, don't yeah. take that away from her. So that's why we've taken the necessary steps to do what we've done. And like I said, we talking about gaming. Mm -hmm. People, kids is as <laughs> kids, kids yeah. education, all that stuff is affected by it. So, um, you know, all the women in my family work in medicine. So it's it, 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 it's crazy. Like this is this is unprecedented. The U.S. hasn't really had to deal with nothing like this in the modern modern times. Mm -hmm. um, 
it, it it's wild. It's yeah. absolutely wild, and it's just so nuts to see how it's how it's playing out. And it's super. I don't even have words for it because it's just so intense. Like, I I can't even like, folks. You guys are seeing it. You're living it. Mm-hmm. You, you're out. You're looking outside or going to the store and seeing bread aisle completely empty. Yeah, uh, seeing, that is what a lady told a lady posted on Facebook that her anxiety didn't start getting up until she seen the way the aisles the, were looking empty and. When I seen that, I was like, you know what? Maybe I should start doing something. Maybe I should start getting yeah. up. Yeah. You know, now Bro, I went here. to go get some eggs and the whole egg. Car- I gone. went to a grocery store down the street. Lady looked in my face and said, sorry, we won't. It, today's Monday. She said, we won't have no eggs. No, it was on Sunday. She told me this. She said, we won't have no eggs till Wednesday. That's crazy. I said, what? That's crazy. I, I went to Walmart three day, three times in one day. Because bro, they, I asked my wife to get me Starbucks. She said Starbucks is closed. Yeah, <laughs> bro, <laughs> bro, hey y'all, like, hey, hey, this look, folks. I hope Starbucks. For the, is this closed? is for those who ain't, t- bro. This is for those who ain't taking this serious. The moment Disneyland closed, the moment airlines start closing, the that- moment Starbucks stop drive through ain't open, bro. I was that's that's when you was like, oh, this shit, shit's real out here in these streets. Hey man, you don't get realer than Disney. Disney They're releasing new movies on digital. Yep. Movie theaters are closed. <laughs> oh, hey, that is, yeah, that's true. See, movie theaters are closed. They shut down. They shut down. Uh, Paramount. They shut that. Yep. They're not, they're not shooting new TV shows. They're running reruns. They're not shooting like none of this stuff is going on. Yeah, like TV, Hollywood has stopped. So Mo- Bloodshot did terrible because it released the day that the lockdown happened. That's bad. That's that's messed up too. <laughs> and I, I was looking forward to that movie. I almost yeah. forgot it came out. I forgot it came out until you said it to me just now. That's what I'm saying. I wanted to go see it, but then it was like, oh. Ten yeah. feet. I'm gonna Give, me 10 feet. <laughs> Give me ten feet. Give me ten feet, man. They, it's 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 just people. Some people haven't taken it serious, and I just hope people. Who, if you're listening to this, that you do decide to start making this priority, because especially if you got like if you're living, if you don't live, like if you live with other people, the the reminding myself as soon as I walk in the house, strip, wash my hands, take a yeah. shower, real talk, like. All of that stuff is important because you just never know. Mm-hmm. And and that, and this is what forced people. I was in the stores like a madman looking for eggs, looking for, I had to buy a size down in diapers for my kid. And, um, yeah, you know, th- these things like looking for, looking for hand sanitizer. Bro I, bro, I had to order diaper wipes. I had to basically pre-order diaper wipes. <laughs> so like that, that's exactly what happened. So I, first off, I had to pay a bunch for uh, of it was like three ninety nine each pack. Mm-hmm. But I had to pre-order it. They were like, okay, so it'll be mailed out three days, four days from now. Yeah. So you'll get it in like seven business days. No, like ah, damn, that's like right. I'm pre-ordering diaper wipes because you could not find them in store, and it, it just it, it's now yet yeah, it did bring the worst out of people, but at the same time. I get it, especially when you start talking about lockdowns. Mm-hmm. And remember, that was a far-fetched thought. People are like, oh, they won't do that. Shit. My job sent me an email talking about two weeks, see you April 3rd. Mm-hmm. No, we'll reevaluate April 3rd. Yeah, because, and- you know, in the news, they're saying that it could go as long as months. Like, some some states already canceled school for the whole school year, so yeah. don't even think about coming back until fall. And that's what now, it's looking look, like for everybody, mostly. I'm just... Yeah. Man, I I look at it and I like I was so glad when I ain't paid this much attention to like our governor and all of that stuff. I haven't really watched anything on it, but when I when when every day time they came out and talked and they talked about sp- specific things that in that affected me now, like babysitting. If they took babysitting away from everybody, no one would go to work. No one. There's nothing that I could do. There's nothing that my wife could do. If you had no child care. If I had no child care. 
you know, that and part. that's important because yep. not my, my kids don't go there just to go there. They go there cause I got work, yep. you know, they, we, we don't have to worry about them eating at least two times out of the day because yeah. they go there. My kid goes yep. to school, same thing. So now when you telling me, uh, yeah, oh, uh, y'all ran out of eggs, uh, and my kids is at home. And my wife is at home. She can't go nowhere. Uh, now, now, now that anxiety really kicks up because I yep. just don't know what to do. All the places that normally have eggs don't don't got eggs. Don't have eggs, you man. Know? Like, like, lucky enough, I live in a rural town. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of farms and whatnot, but people starting to catch on to that. Yep. Like, we got dairies and farms and whatnot. They so, you know, they, yeah, they out there. But people catching on. Like, it's starting to be the new thing. Um, and it just long story short, you know, it, it just, this is big. And I think people know that. And I think even you listening right now, you know, that we're, we're beating a dead dog. Like mm -hmm. I, I just, we just couldn't have suit and sit here and do this podcast and not mention one of the biggest things to happen to us as a, on earth. Bro, like this is like, there. I just life. listened to the president the president and his staff compare this the way we're mobilizing the way businesses are being converted you got liquor companies that are being converted into hand sanitizer production places mm. you got tattoo people uh you got tattoo parlors donating all their masks and gloves mm -hmm. to hospitals you got hospitals that are without mask and gloves yeah this they compared this to how we mobilized during world war ii like that oh, like the material. fact that you're you're taking Man, you're taking know. companies and you're converting them. They were like, we haven't mobilized like this since World War II. This is some this is some different shit. Regardless mm -hmm. how you feel about it, regardless of whether or not this was some man-made thing or whether, regardless, you got liquor companies converting their business into hand sanitizer creation companies. You have, you oh, Hanes, or no, not Hanes, um, who makes the jeans? Is it Levi? I think Levi and Haynes. Mm -hmm. They converted large portions of their warehouses to make masks. Mm. It's wild out here. You want to talk about the mask thing? We used to be able to walk into our warehouse at my job and just get a box. They are rationing them things off. You got to show them a dirty one to get a new one. And I work around heavy duty chemicals. Exactly, yeah. materials. I'm talking about cold dust, you know, high grade, bauxite, all of this type of raw materials. Like people get hard cancer from. You know, I work around that. And you telling me I gotta use one and then I and then I work on the off shift. <laughs> I gotta show a dirty one to get a clean one. Oh man, them things is like go. I had two in my heart had to do, hey man, y'all got y'all got any dust, man. <laughs> It ain't funny, but that's funny as hell, that's bro. That's hilarious, sorry. bro. I was... Hey, mm. bro, hey, dude, my... So, like I said, all the women in my family work in medicine. You know, sisters, CNA, wife works in social services out of hospital, mom's a doctor. Mm -hmm. Like, they were telling me that people, like, you got to bring in your own... Like, they have little trays. So, you they used to keep all that stuff in the room. Yeah. But they said clients and patients were stealing all the supplies and employees were stealing the supplies. Like I heard that there was over 150 boxes of masks stolen since all of this happened. 100 not masks, boxes of masks. <laughs> yeah. So man. now they keep it all locked up over there. It's crazy. I, for one, it, I I agree with that wholeheartedly because um those those are medical people around that stuff you know I, yeah. I i joke around all the time like man freak all that whatever whatever but when you really sit and think about it these people are this is the front line that's yeah, the yeah. front line when you get sick you go see them so they're putting their life on the line so yeah i think mask like we shouldn't play around with that now when you yeah when you talk about like your company now it's like that's me. I'm, I'm yeah. out there. Yeah. Like, can like, I get a I, box? This place is only running because we are working. So exactly. let us be comfortable. Let us feel safe. Don't all of a sudden like hardcore ration what we need to stay safe. And, and then the, I'm working around heavy duty hazardous uh, chemicals. Like, come the, on. The rationing. If they ra if they made sense, I'd be cool. 
You know what I'm saying? Like if it if it okay, where are you working at today? Oh, you're working at such and such? Mm, it's not dusty. How the hell can you tell me that? <laughs> yeah. You can't like, what do you, what do you I'm mean? out there. You in the office all day. You can't tell me what is Oh, this ain't that bad. Yeah, it ain't, I'm out there. I'm I got to sweep this this stuff up. I'm on the cleanup crew. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. So, it's when I when you have to go from being able to go get a box or when I say a box, I'm talking about a box of 8 to stash in our our break room. To not being to only getting one, I can only get one for me. I can't go get one for you. Is it somebody handing it to you? Yeah, and then this is how they gotta hand it to you. They gotta, they walk up to the counter. You gotta stay behind the line. They put the box down. Then they take a step back behind their line. Then you walk up. That's how they doing it there. Like y'all exchanging gold yeah, for, for like, tender. This is this is crazy. You might as well put up plexiglass all throughout this thing. Yeah. And, Oh you know god! What and but, with the turn, with the turn style, yeah, like you just put it up, like the lazy Susan. Might put as, your mask out, rotate it, get your mask might out. Might as well, bro. They might as well. It, it's it truly is wild out here. Yeah. Um, and I didn't I didn't think we'd go into it this much, but it just this is real, folks. Mm-hmm. You guys know, and we're just giving you our real our reality. Like for me, my company stripped down to complete essentials. Like they bare necessity to get supportive services out i work in social services and it like people still need to get their their checks people still need tanf people still need welfare yeah, I mean, um, it still continues yeah the money still got to flow mm-hmm. and it's a process in which it's got to be done and it's it's crazy to see how like i seen a meme somebody was like you know when I found out I was an essential employee, it just uh I realized I was better than everybody else. <laughs> like I now I knew my, I, if, like if, now it's proof. He said like, now I, my nose is really in the air. <laughs> yeah, like I, I thought I was better than all of you, but now I know now I'm I better than know all of you. I'm better than you. Shit. Yeah, like not only did the company say so, but me being here and you being at home as non essential, the government thinks you're unnecessary. <laughs> 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 oh man, that's bad. Like, Oh, it's bad. terrible. Yeah, I, there's some evil memes out there, man. But hey, but real talk though, like I, I want to bounce back into like what games and stuff we've been playing and what's okay. been going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just want to, you know, y'all pull through, man. Do what you got to do, you know, and stay home. Stay if stay. you look. I get it. I get it. If you can't, you can't. But stay home. Like stay, stay home as best as possible. Yo, ass at home. Stay away from everybody, man. Just. Like, Leave old folks alone, man. You know what I'm saying? Just stay your ass and stop alone. throwing parties. Yeah, y'all crazy. Throwing a party, yeah, I, man. I see so many day parties. Oh, we having to get together. Why? So it's this ain't a chicken pox party. <laughs> you ain't trying. Everybody trying to get the chicken pox. Like y'all better go home, man. Like it's man. I, I it's 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 what it is. My kids and my wife can't yeah. leave the crib. Y'all need anything? Yeah. I go get it. Yep. So and Bro. then it, it was messed up, like especially like when you think about people who have to go to work. These yeah. people gotta go. They bills don't stop, man. Yeah, they continue don't. unless they. I mean, except like with Italy, where they stopped it. I mean, our government, hey, our leaders, they tripping. could just say they could say stop. Pause but then I hate anything. that. Like the most American thing ever is even when they stop the mortgages, it's not even really a stop. It's a forbearance mm-hmm. where the the uh, the interest still builds up, but you just ain't gotta pay it yet. But yeah. then when that forbearance ends, it's like, oh, we need this much. <laughs> like, now, like it's like, damn, like, come on, man. Like, why y'all got to do us like that? Like it's that, just man. dirty. But, nah, I just look, I, 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 <laughs> right? I hope we get it together, and I hope I get that stimulus check. But moving on to gaming. Big bread. <laughs> yeah. Give me the money. Give me the money. <laughs> and I hope it's permanent, too. Like, you can't just open Pandora's box. And then close it. Like somebody asked our president about, like, how did he feel about um, the government taking uh, percentage uh, percentage interest in, or like some part ownership in certain companies? And he was like, "I think it's great," and just moved on to the next question. I said, "Oh no!" And you know what's scary about that? That is like that is the one thing we as Americans always fight against. Hey. That would literally make us everything that America is supposed to be fighting against the moment they do that. I'm but good, I'm going to tell you what, 
let me tell you, it's not right. But I'm tired of I'm tired of us being chastised as civilians. Why don't you guys have savings? Why are you guys spending money on this? Why are your generation buying avocado avocado toast? Like I'm t- don't tell me all of this, but then you go one week without getting business, and now you flopping, and now you begging for billions. What you say? I just want free childcare. I just want free childcare. Hey, why y'all buy I'm, avocado toast? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like you, you want to get on me for wanting free childcare, but here it is. You go not even a full two weeks without business, and the not even a full, ending. And the world is ending. Why y'all, y'all ain't got no savings? <laughs> yeah, where are your savings at? Where are your three to six months of savings? Yeah. <laughs> like, don't cut. And look, folks, I'm not an idiot. I understand that you got shareholders to pay this, that, and the third. I understand that if you don't have money coming in, you can't put money out. I'm not an idiot, Mm -hmm. but bump that you going to put stipulations on me, but then my government and then my government will look me in the face and say, I'm freeloading and I'm begging for free stuff. Mm -hmm. But then yet y'all get a week and a half of bad, of bad situation, a week and a half and y'all getting billions. Oh, billions no. but i can't get child care paid for so i can go to work so i can pay tax look y'all getting me started See? on a whole nother like, nah. thing nah because it really like no 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 like, but no 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 that. you you listen hey i've it's... noticed a lot of my republican like hardcore republican friends they've been very quiet and it's because now Everything y'all been arguing about don't mean nothing Mm -hmm. because the same people you was arguing for is now talking about we need to save these companies. Yeah. But what am I? And look, what's a nation full of sick, hurt, broke people? Uh, Weak one. Mm -hmm. I don't care. And then stock buybacks. What the fuck? How you how you got a company sharing at a thousand something dollars per share? going at a thousand something dollars per share, but come to find out anytime they get any big profit, they turn it around and buy more stocks. Mm-hmm. It ain't us buying a thousand dollars a share. How many people, you know, old damn Amazon stock. I don't know one person know who one owns person. stock in Amazon. Nope. Not one. Now I own some stock. I don't own nothing crazy like that, mm-hmm. but how the fuck you get to a thousand dollars a share? There's some, there's some index funds that don't even cost a goddamn thousand dollars. Preach. <laughs> like the hell over here buying your stocks not nah, paying your people minimum wage man you know the what fuck? it's people people don't people don't realize that uh most of the time they're they're arguing against themselves like yeah you know, you, you, dumb you, shit. you can't what benefits you what benefits you you see what i'm saying like well, when i've been political in a long time of course let not. me tell you bro but it's, it's gotten to that point though it has, it's and it's mandatory. If people voted selfishly, real talk, most of the people listening to this, most of the people I know, I know very few people who make over 250000 a year. Mm-hmm. Very few people, if any at all, personally, that mm-hmm. I just know. And correct me if I'm wrong. But why are you arguing on the behalf of people who would benefit from those things when you down here with us? Exactly. And that that's the argument I always make. You can't relate to these people at all. You can't and they don't care to relate to, to you. These people, you can't relate not one bit. I come to work with you every day. And if I and yeah, you over here arguing for them. Exactly. And that's how I look at it. And the only reason why I look at it that way is because, like, yo, you, you as a law abiding citizen, somebody that pay their taxes, I take it any you give me anything for free, I'm taking advantage of it. Because I and, do and every and anything. And let's, let's fix it. Let's fix that. It ain't free. Well, of That's course. That's what taxes are for. Yes. Yeah, but no, some people make that argument. Oh, you think it's free, but it's going to be on the back of taxpayers. I'm one of the taxpayers. Exactly. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this, Trav. So they make, make it seem like they not taxpayers. Like look, you don't me, do, you don't go to a guy and get your, for, you don't get taken care of every month before the 30th <laughs> of April. Come on, bro. Man. Look, let me tell you straight out. I have this argument quite often with people, quite often. And my number one thing I tell them, I was like, first and foremost, 90% of the shit I argue for, I wouldn't even benefit from because me and my wife make too much money. Mm -hmm. I would not even benefit from all of these things that I fight for. But let me tell you this, just, and this is what we're living in right now is fucking proof. Mm -hmm. All it takes is one bad month 
and I'm in line getting all the government assisted services. Everything. Every last one of them. And that's why I always fight for it because all it takes is you to have a bad time. And, and that's what it's there for. And look, look, look. All these bootstrap, pull yourself up by your bootstrap folks, you fuckers is feeling it. They right You're in line with you. Feeling it. <laughs> Bro, they over here. And look, I don't wish that on nobody. I do not wish this on nobody. But I you hope didn't have to. This is tomorrow. the proof right here. This is it. If hey, they Bernie tell Sanders. Bernie Sanders and Andrew Yang three weeks ago were fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. Three is... weeks ago. Three weeks ago, people was calling Bernie Sanders and, and Andrew Yang nutbags. Yeah. Now you got people begging for what they were proposing. Mm -hmm. Begging. It's, it's and, I'm, and I'm sitting here, I'm like, really, are you serious? Like, what the hell? So long story short, if people voted selfishly, if everybody truly just looked at their own situation and voted according to what would absolutely benefit their household, screw your neighbor, screw your mom, screw everybody else. Vote for what would benefit you directly. My kids are yelling at me. <laughs> benefit what would directly affect you. We'd all be okay because there's more pennies in the world than there's dollars. Mm -hmm. There's more small people than there is big people. There, That's just a fact. There's more poor people than there are rich. It's a fact. Yeah. It's there's no if everybody voted on like if I voted for what would benefit my household, I bet you it would benefit your household. Of course. Of course. I'm I relate to you. We grew we 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 grew up in the same neighborhood. We come from that. You know, it's when you I get a headache talking about it because when people argue against it, it's like, all right, well, you may not think you need it right now but yeah, what's the chances but your kids need it that what's part the, like that part. you see what i'm saying what's the chance generation oh my baby is sad things can happen hey let them come in let them come here yeah that'll be it. well that that i mean that those are the only points we were supposed to get go yeah, this we deep into it but we did yeah. but i mean yeah. unfortunately covid19 is serious it is something that you it's should real. really be thinking about um I would say gather as much information as you possibly can on it. Take care of you, of your family, your kids, your dogs if you have them, animals if you have them. Oh, yeah. Get your dog food and get your pet food. It's, it's real out man, there. Take care of everything you got going and, on. And you know serious. what? And, and shop local if you can. Because mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest, big box, big box stores are going to be there. I'm worried about the mom and pop shops. Like, I went out of my way to go to this local food, uh, dog, or local pet store. Feed place. It's a mom and pop uh, feed place mm -hmm. to go buy my dog food because I'm not worried about Petco. I'm not worried about PetSmart. I'm not worried about Big Lot. I'm not worried about these companies. I'm worried about these shops where it's three or four people running the whole place yeah, year round. Family owned and shop. Family owned. Those are the people I'm worried about. So folks, that's one thing you could truly do to benefit is check your check and see which local places is open. Spend your money there. Mm -hmm. There's bread shops, bakeries. Like we got a bakery in our down the street. Like go to go to the, your local spots. Support them that way because now you helping a fan, you're helping your neighbor in a really big way. Big box stores, Walmart's gonna be there. Stater Brothers, uh, Grocery Albertsons, Ralphs, Vons, Piggly Wiggly. These places they're gonna and, be there. And some of these places that were that you're mentioning are hiring. They need yeah. Oh, help. yeah. Hey, Amazon, all these places right now are hiring and the qualifications are low. Mm. And believe me when I tell you folks, you may get in as a temp, but if you bust your ass, you they will hire true. you on. Yeah, it, it happens. That's how I got a few jobs. I went in temporary, busted my ass, got hired on, showed them something like that Came happens. So if you're looking for work, open this is up. a time to shine. Exactly. Yeah. So all right, man, that's that's it for me, man. I just want to, I hope everybody stays safe. Um, my yeah, please prayers go out folks. to everybody and their families. Oh, um, yeah. And game on, man. You're at home. Game. Might as well play some Metal Gear Solid. I'm telling you. And once again, shout out to Gamer Grind Coffee Company, the number one coffee for gamers. Uh, and shout out to... Not... Oh, my bad. I cut you off. My bad. Oh, no. Oh, no. You all good. Yeah, Kill Streak. This is a good coffee. Good grind. Um, you can go online, use the link below. We will make sure to add that link. I got to shoot it over to Travis, the producer, and we'll make sure to get yeah right. And we'll get that in there. You guys will be supporting us by purchasing your 
and there's multiple types like decaf, all type of stuff. They even got mugs and all that other stuff. Mm-hmm. And then everything else is available. All the different podcasts, Nerds Noir. Um, Shout out it's to freaking Tone. ridiculous. Tone, Tone Dev. I'm looking at you man. right now, logged in. Tone. Killing the game right now. Tone, shout out to you, man. Tone. Much love to the Tone Deaf family, man. And if, you, and all if of you're that. looking for something to listen to, Tone Deaf Network. Oh, I'm pretty sure the catalog is so deep. Everything from uh, Hoshally Awkward all the way to the Deaf Fresh show. You got... Uh, it, it, it's it's silly, the content that's there to keep mm-hmm. you busy. And y'all ain't got nothing to do. You home. Most of Except watch Frozen 2 for the 20,000th tw- time. I will not. Disney wasn't right for that, bro. They didn't have to put Frozen 2 on <laughs> Disney Plus. They was real foul for that. <laughs> I'm over here singing whatever the song. Let me stop. I'm Baron J67. I'm T. Jones. Much love, y'all. Be safe out there. Peace. Peace.